Hey what's up guys I am Jedi from Motions Up in this video we will learn how to magnify our screen recordings also screenshots in Adobe Premiere Pro excited so let's get start here is the screenshot i want to magnify to first thing we need to do is duplicate our this layer right at the top of this layer hold alt key and click and drag this clip above this layer you can press option on mac go to effects and search for crop effect drag this effect onto our top clip now go to effects control and we can see our crop effect settings here select crop effect here and that will bring up this little handles here on our video monitor drag this handles and resize it where we want to magnify to for reference let me disable this bottom track and that's how our crop layer looks like you can see our crop area here now what we are going to do is scale in our crop clip before we start the animation please like this video and subscribe motions up for more premiere pro beginner tutorials tips and more let's back to our project make sure that we are on our top clip highlighted go to motion and look at where we want to begin position and scale animation i want to start animation at the beginning at the clip so i am going to add keyframe to position and scale here i am going 10 frames in and scale this in and set position like this you can see our magnify effect start taking place at the end of this clip i want to go back to normal so click add remove keyframe here go forward 10 frames and go back to reset it So it's look like this right now. But we can make it looks much better by making this background track little bit darker and I am going to do that with opacity. Select the bottom layer and go to effects control. On opacity I am going to add same keyframes as we added to our top clip. I have a easy trick to add same keyframe as our top layer select the top layer and here on our motion tab let me zoom in add marker by pressing m on keyboard to our first keyframe then go to second keyframe and press m again i will do it the same for all keyframes by adding marker here we can now easily add keyframes at the same place as our top layer Select bottom layer and add first keyframe here at the beginning to start toggle animation on my opacity. I am going 10 frames forward. You can see the second mark here and now set opacity to something around 40. Then go to next marker point from here where our crop clip starting go back to normal. To select add remove keyframe here again and click the reset parameter to back opacity to normal so now our animation looks something like this i think it's look cool and enough to focus on magnification area but we can make it looks more cooler go to effects and type blur select the gaussian blur and apply it to the bottom track and follow the same keyframes Set a keyframe to blurriness at the beginning and as the opacity gets darker, increase blurriness to something like this. Go to end and click add remove keyframe here. And as the opacity gets brighter, reset blurriness to back to zero. And here we go. We get our magnification animation. One last thing I want to do is add drop shadow to our magnification area. So I am going back to effects and search for drop shadow. Drag it to our top layer and this will follow the same animation in and out keyframes as other effects. Adjust the parameter on drop shadow however you want to. For this clip I am ok with this setting. 
8 keyframe at the beginning set set opacity to 0 then go 10 frames in and set opacity to 100 click add remove keyframe here go 10 frames forward and reset back set opacity to 0 Here is our final animation. Voila! Hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please like this video, your likes really motivates me. And don't forget to subscribe Motion Sub for more graphic designing tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and peace.